so next thing for us to understand is joining so what is joining joining is when you retrieve data from two or more tables that is known as joining so it is best to understand with the help of an example we have a table called employees and another, and another table called departments so you want to retrieve data from table employees and if you run this statement you have all oh if you run this statement you have all data from this table called employees notice there is, there is a column called department id and also notice there is no column that mentions the name of the department so we don't know what department mr king belongs to we only know that he belongs to department a department whose id is 90 so we don't know what austin what department austin belongs to we only know that he belongs to a department whose id is 60 so we have another table called departments from departments so if you run this statement you have all data from this table called departments and this table has department id and another column department name recorded in it what happens what if you wanted to dis have a list of employees in front of you for example first name and the name of the department they belong to so you'll have to join these two tables and the statement would be probably do not pay attention to the statement might be a bit complex for beginners we'll have a separate video on that but just to prove the point this is how you write it employees that is the name of the table here employees and I'll go back to this table and then we want to display first name of the employee from this uh, table first underscore name and then comma as a separator and then we want to display data from another table called departments departments and what data we want to display from this table we want to display the department underscore name department underscore name from table employees and also from departments where where clause employees department id is equal to departments department id semicolon and we'll run this statement and you have a list in front of you that is retrieving data from two different tables this data is retrieved from this table and this data is retrieved from this table as if there was only one table so Jennifer belongs to administration Pat belongs to marketing and Karen belongs to purchasing and so on and so forth notice this list has 106 rows versus this table has 107 rows so what's happening here what is wrong there's nothing wrong there's one employee that does not belong to any department thank you very much i hope you learned something thank you for listening